Hello, everybody, and welcome to a revised prediction of my CONCACAF uh, final predictions. I made a previous video of my early predictions. If you haven't seen that for CONCACAF, go watch that. I will not be making final revised predictions for each confederation because, for the most part, my predictions for each confederation are firmly cemented. I still believe what I said prior. Here, I have a few changes, though. So, the table looks like this. In first place, we have Mexico with 18 points. Second, Costa Rica with 15. Third, Panama with 10. Fourth, the United States with 9. Fifth, Honduras with 9. Uh, the USA having a superior goal difference to Honduras. And Trinidad and Tobago with 3. So, on match day 9, we have the following. USA versus Panama, Costa Rica versus Honduras, and Mexico versus Trinidad and Tobago. The first match is going to be the biggest one to watch, in my opinion. Um, and it's very huge, because whoever gets a desirable result from this game will be the favorite to finish in the top 3 of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. Between the United States and Panama. The U.S. plays at home. My initial prediction was that the United States would win this game. I now actually think this is going to be a draw. And, you know, me being an American, I hate saying it, but that's what I think is going to happen, and I'll explain why. I was impressed with the way Panama have played this whole qualifying campaign, especially on the road. They got a win in Honduras. Um, they should have gotten a result in Trinidad and Tobago. They almost got a result in their last game on the road in Mexico. Mexico needing um, a goal late on to win 1-0. Mex uh, Panama arguably should have had an equalizer uh, to gotten a point from the Estadio Azteca. I thought they were unfortunate. I thought the way Panama played, the way they've been playing this whole qualifying season, this is the best they've ever been, in my opinion. They match up very well with the United States. These are two teams that are very familiar with each other. We played Panama twice this year already. Both of them ended in 1-1 draws. And I actually think it's going to happen again for the third time. Uh, we tied them 1-1 on the road in Panama. We tied them 1-1 in the opening match of Group B of the, of the 2017 Gold Cup, uh, the Copa de Oro. And I believe here, because of the fact Panama had the opportunity to qualify directly with a win here, provided Costa Rica get a positive result against Honduras. Panama is on the verge of creating history and fulfilling their dreams of going to a World Cup, and they desperately want it. And what better to get it than on the road against the same team that denied you four years ago at the last minute from a playoff spot against New Zealand to do it against the United States. They This is a very much... A revenge factor played into this as well as the desire to go to the World Cup. And because of the fact the United States is desperate and not in great form, I don't think the United States will lose again at home as they've lost to Mexico and Costa Rica. The United States will want to stay alive. Bruce Arena said the United States needs at least four points from their two remaining games. That to me has all the, the makings of a. Uh, a neutralization, and a, a draw. I think this will be a 1-1. Costa Rica versus Honduras. Costa Rica pretty much just needs a draw to qualify, but they drop points at home to Mexico. I don't see them dropping points for a second consecutive home game. Honduras will be desperate to get something from this, but Costa Rica wants to clinch qualification, and they want to do it in style, and they're the better team. I think Costa Rica will beat Honduras. I think the score will be... I think the score is going to be 2-0. And then we have Mexico versus Trinidad and Tobago. Mexico's already qualified, but they want to end this qualifying season with a, an undefeated record. Trinidad and Tobago is by far and away the weakest side in the hex at the moment. They're, they're already eliminated. I do think they're going to give Mexico a hard time just because they're a very physical and athletic team. But I think Mexico is just overall just vastly superior in quality. 
I'm going to go 3-1. to one. Mexico will win 3-1. And then on the final match day, match day 10, Honduras versus Mexico, Panama versus Costa Rica, and Trinidad and Tobago versus the United States. I think this is how it's going to go down. I actually think Honduras is going to get a home win here because Mexico is their last game. Yes, they have gone undefeated in the hex, but I think Mexico traditionally usually struggles on the road in San Pedro Sula when they play Honduras. Honduras almost beat them in the previous round uh, when they were in a group together, the two of them with El Salvador and Canada. El Sa Honduras will need a result from this. They would have to get a win to stay in contention or to be eliminated altogether and not even go to a playoffs spot. Mexico, I don't know if Mexico is going to send their best team all the way down to San Pedro Sula, given they're guaranteed to win the group, not just qualify, but win the group by this point. And they don't really have that motivation, to be honest. Whereas Honduras will be in a really tight spot, and they will have to get something from this game. And I think Honduras would win, will win this game 1-0. Then Panama versus Costa Rica. This is pretty much what Panama needed, right? Costa Rica team, a Costa Rica team that has already qualified at this point. Panama, who should have gotten at least, I think Panama should have beaten Costa Rica on the road when Costa Rica played with 10 men for a, a large stretch of that game. Panama were unfortunate not to get the full three points. Here, though, I think they're going to do it because Costa Rica, again, they have all have already qualified. Panama just. They want it more than Honduras does because they've never been to a World Cup. So I think Panama here would win. I think Panama would beat Costa Rica. I think they will do it... I'm going to say... I want to say 1-0. But... I'm going to say 2-1 to Panama. And then Trinidad and Tobago and the United States... Uh-oh. <laughs> I think for a large stretch of the live standings of these three games, guys, the United States will be on the brink of elimination, similar to Mexico in 2013. For a large portion of this game, the United States will be sitting in the fifth position, not even going to a playoffs. And I think the U.S. will, in, in true dramatic fashion, grab a winner. Uh, in conjunction with the fact that, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, they're not really getting any help here, would they? Because Honduras beating Mexico, Panama beating Costa Rica, I think the United States would get a win here, a narrow 1-0 victory, and <laughs> that would take the U.S. to just above Honduras on 13 points because if this match ends in a draw and Honduras beats Mexico, Panama beats Costa Rica, the United States slips down to fifth place and are eliminated. I don't think Mexico will save the U.S. returning the favor from 2013 because there's just no motivation to do so. I think Honduras will, will beat Mexico but I think the United States is just a far better team than Trinidad and Tobago, and I do think they will grab a late winner, 1-0, to qualify. Or at least to, to get to a playoff. So this is what the standings would look like. We would have Mexico with 21 points. Costa Rica with, I believe... 18 points in second. You'd have Panama. This is the change from my previous video. Panama in third with 14 points. United States in fourth with 13. Honduras in fifth with 12. Trinidad and Tobago in last with three. So what's the change from my last video? My last video, I had the United States slipping into third in the direct spot, sending Panama into the playoff. And look how close it is. 
Panama 14, United States 13, Honduras 12. And I think the United States would go to the playoffs against the winner of Syria, Australia. So leave a comment below, like, subscribe. I think the United States is going to leave it down to the wire. I think we'll just about make it. And I do think we will defeat whoever the playoff winner is between Syria and Australia. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, leave a comment, like, subscribe. And until then, much love and peace out.